Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you know, my last video, I went to Big Willow, did about two and a half laps and uh, destroyed the rear hub on the passenger rear side. I have not touched the car. I just uh, put it on jack stands a few seconds ago and I'm gonna show you the damage of what happened. As well as in this video, it's gonna be kind of a part one of converting the rear of my car to an RX-8. I've read a lot of information, a lot of uh, steps to do, but in the end, I think it's going to be perfect for what I'm going to be doing for the car. And if this is something you want to do, I'm going to try my best to document this as clear and concise as I can with uh, pricing that I did, some of the issues that I've had already before I've even started this install. Um, but yeah, this will be part one. And then part two will be kind of a uh, full install and uh, a review of the new parts on the car. So I'm going to sit you guys down. I'm going to take the wheel off and show you the damage from the last track day and kind of the reason why me and a lot of other people want to do this upgrade. Sorry for the wind noise and the kind of ghetto tripod setup. I don't have my tripod, but I've not touched the wheel. Look how loose this thing is. <laughs> Axle nuts obviously not fully tightened, but that's kind of what the car was doing when I got off the, when I was getting towed back in. So let's take this wheel off. Isn't that wild? That is insane. Let's get the caliper off and we'll remove this whole piece. Destroyed the rotor. That's trash. Completely sheared it right off. Half of it's still stuck in there. Actually, it's not stuck though, but kind of destroyed some of the threads too so okay so to start your rx8 conversion you need rx8 knuckles what you're looking at here is two knuckles from two different cars because i bought a set on ebay this is the ebay set a little bit better condition I personally like this knuckle better because it's cleaner. This is from a junkyard I actually got this morning. Very critical piece when you're buying these RX-8 knuckles, it has to have this. This is the one I bought on eBay again. As you can see, there's no bushing here. It's a metal sleeve like the other sides for the toe arm or traction arm, whatever you want to call it. And then here's the um, rubber bushing. So all the RX-8 knuckles, just like the NC, have a few metal bushings on it. One rubber and then three metals. One right here, one right here, and one right here. This one obviously doesn't have it. Renders this knuckle completely useless. You cannot use this knuckle. No one, at least that I've ever seen, makes this piece. Luckily, there was an RX-8 in a junkyard, local to me, that had the car completely still intact. And I told the gentleman that was gonna remove it for me, can you please make sure that you leave the lower control arm, because that's what that bushing goes into, or the, the arm goes into, make sure that it's connected and I will remove it my own. And that's exactly what he did. So when it's installed in the car, it's basically, you can consider this one side, the lower control arm goes right here and it's tapered. But as you can see, the bushing's still in here. So I'll put these again side by side so you can see one more time. No bushing bushing or you can call it an insert very critical you have to make sure you have that piece All right the next part of your rx8 swap is going to be a set of axles now these axles are specifically from a manual transmission car i need to do a little bit more research to make sure that you can either do automatic or manual axles i i do not know if it matters or not i need to figure that out but this is where you do your i call it frankensteining the axles this section needs to go into the RX-8 knuckle. This section would go into the differential. However, this will not fit into an NC differential. This still needs to be your NC axle. So that being said, 
you can take the band clamp off and remove this section, basically this section here, and put that part onto your NC axle. Let's pretend this was an NC axle. So you would put this part onto here because this is a NC axle. And since this is an NC axle, this would go into your NC differential and fit perfect. Then you had a kind of a Frankenstein setup of axles. This is where I kind of go a little bit overboard. I'm going one step above and I'm actually going to be removing the NC differential from my car and putting in an RX-8 differential LSD unit. I bought that one on eBay, the same place I bought all these other parts. And thankfully that is a true LSD unit. But there's something special about that um, differential that I'm gonna show you right now. Here is an RX-8 differential. I wish I had my NC1 side by side. The RX-8s are a little taller. I don't think they're much wider, but they are taller. There's slight differences in the studs, in the where they're kind of positioned at, and then the top portion of the differential is different. Now you might be asking why are you doing this? Why are you going doing all this stuff? In my mind, since I broke that, the hub, I kind of want to go even one step above and make sure this doesn't happen again. Yes, most people will say, if you just do the RX-8 hubs, you're good, you're golden. I've seen people still break them. I don't want to Frankenstein the axles. A lot of people have said it's really no big deal, big deal at all. I just don't feel like I can do it myself. I know I can take it to a shop and do it, but I'd rather just have a bolt-in set of axles. That's what I feel more comfortable with. And the only way to have a bolt-in set of RX-8 axles on an NC is to one, have the knuckles and the hubs, and two, have an RX-8 differential. These RX-8 differentials are cheap. I was able to score this for 280 bucks. You cannot buy an NC differential, from what I've seen, less than $550 to $600. And you might get an open differential. And trust, ask me how I know, because I've gotten burned before. This is a true LSD uh, system. It's Super Tochigi, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's the same as the NCs. The rx came with two different styles. They came with a su uh, Super Tochigi and then a uh, Torsen setup for the 4-1 differentials. However, the RX-8 Super Tochigis came with a 4.44 ring and pinion. The NCs, at least in the United States of America, came with a 4.1 ring and pinion. You can't even buy a 4.44 ring and pinion for the NC for, I've seen them as, as low as like four to $500. So that is partially the reason why I'm going an RX-8 differential as well, is I'm gonna get a little bit more performance out of a 4.44 than the 4.1 ring and pinion on the NC. Now this should look literally identical to an NC Super Tochigi LSD unit with the spring inside. So use this video as even a, a comparison to if you bought a differential online, because I've gotten burned before, as I said earlier, by getting an open differential for the NC. Like I said earlier, this is a 4.44 ring and pinion, and this is a eight inch ring and pinion setup. On the NCs, it's a seven inch. I don't know what this is shared with with other cars, but in my mind, bigger is better as in like stronger. So it's not like that car ever made enough power to break a differential, but I broke a hub, what else could break, you know? So I said earlier in the video, this is gonna just be in kind of a brief overview of what I'm going to be doing. So consider it like a part one video. Part two, I will be taking everything apart and filming it. I obviously already have a video of me taking the arms and dropping the LSD, or sorry, the open differential and putting the LSD unit in the car. Um, so I may just link that, or I might just film all of this over again to show you, but stay tuned for that video. Um, I'm really excited to do this and document it for you guys. And if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.